Third down and 20. North Dakota would like to get at least a few more yards here, make this an easier field goal attempt for Brady Leach. Kettering in with no place to go. Now flings it over the middle and it's picked off. Intercepted. Sam Bodine coming up with the pick. Ruling on the field. The Vikings. It's an interception. First down, Portland State. And I think sometimes that, that's where kind of the frustration comes in sometimes with, with, with Nate is you know, maybe trying to force some things. Like you said it right, Alex. Gain some of the yards back to put yourself in a position to kick that field goal. You don't need to force the ball in there. Yeah. Receiver set. UND just rushes three. Alexander scrambling, and he's got the first down. And again, coming up lame at the end of that play. Third down and six now from the 33. Alexander. Pocket breaks down, but he eludes the rush. Goes to the air, caught at the 10. Darian Green makes one man miss and is now brought down around the seven yard line. Green, who was the man in motion on that play, able to make the catch down the field and extend the drive as he sees Tanner Palmberg. What's become a, a bit of a familiar sight the last couple of weeks again, playing without an ACL, the senior captain. The knee just not stable. And then on the rush, something buckled certainly and he's being attended to back at the 43 yard line. Third down and goal now from the eight. Alexander, quick strike, cut, no incomplete. Ruffin had it for a moment, but could not hang on. The sophomore tight ends nearly getting points on the board for the Vikings. Couldn't complete the catch though, and the UND defense stiffens here on a first and goal to force the field goal try. And I think this might have been, been one of those where the, he comes down and the turf knocks it out. Oh no, he oh, just lost dropped it. it. Lost in midair. That's one he's going to want to have back. That's a great. It's Cody Williams now, the freshman from California, on for a 25 yarder. Williams, who's been awfully good this season, 10 of 13, along of 52. And the 25-yard attempt is up and through. So the 109 left, two timeouts for the Vikings. Alexander looking deep here on first down. Dagby out there, and he's got it. Was he in bounds? They say yes. Evan Holm on the coverage. Emmanuel Dagby all the way down to the 35-yard line. A big-time play on first and 10 for Portland State. Wow, this is a great catch by Dagby. Pretty good coverage by Holm. You know, right there, that's a terrific ball by Alexander, too. Right, put right where it needs to be. But, but like you're saying, credit to North Dakota's D backs being able to come up and make those tackles for short yardage. Read play Alexander able to elude the initial pressure that loses his hat at the end of the regular season. Play action and trouble here, and Kenneringham goes down. Pressure off the edge from Artis Manning. The corner blitz that time gets home. Larry Ross in the backfield as well. A damaging loss on second down as UND backed up all the way to the 40. Well, North Dakota's brought, brought that quarter blitz quite a few times today. Portland State decides at the perfect time they're going to run their own. Yeah, perfect time to call that blitz. Loss of 12 for Ketteringham. Third down and 19. North Dakota trying to get something going after the Jade Lawrence fumble recovery. Pressure again, and back-to-back -back sacks for the Viking defense. The pocket collapses once more. Larry Ross again, back-to-back -back plays for the senior DNs in the backfields. And, and he gets held on this. You see right there, I mean, just completely wrapped around, still able to go in and, and get that sack. Set in the shotgun for Alexander. Stepping up in the pockets. And he's got the first down, that across the 30. We should mention number 58 now in the ball game for North Dakota, Tyron Verde, who was suspended for the first half after a targeting call against Idaho. Easton Trakel with plenty of space across the middle on that second and long play, able to get it into UND territory. Third grab of the day for the sophomore from Olympia, Washington. Wide open in the middle of the field. Yeah, and those are the matchups you'll take if you're Portland State an inside linebacker on a receiver. You're going to win those battles quite a bit. Davis Alexander. Pressure coming. Alexander eludes it. 
outside the pocket. He's going to run for this, and he's going to get the first down. How many times have we seen this today? Alexander able to make a play with his feet in a key spot. Huge play here for the sophomore quarterback. Oh, you're exactly right, Alex. I mean, this has been the story of the game, is Alexander's ability to elude pressure, not get sacked, not just fall down. Staff. Alexander keeps it himself, this time on first and goal. And he's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown, Portland State. And seven on their last possession. Davis Alexander picked off. Lenny Nelson with room in front. The senior safety is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, North Dakota. Final play of regulation. Vikings need a miracle here. Down by seven. Alexander 57 yards away from the end zone. UND brings pressure. Alexander flushed the heave. And North Dakota knocks it down. And that's going to be the football.